Hello everyone, today is September 7th, 2010, and after months of anticipation, and months and months, months of waiting, it is once again time to get started on a new Let's Play, and of course that Let's Play is none other than... Then Super Metroid for the Super NES came out in 1994 and to this day is still in my opinion the best Metroid game of all time. Feel free to feel free to disagree. That is fine. But this is what Metroid games were really about. Now they've kind of turned into first person shooters. I don't know how that happened. But this is what Metroid is, for those of you that haven't played the earlier Metroids. And the ROM version has German or French subtext, subtitle text. Don't ask me why, we'll just start the game, it's in English anyway. And let's have a blast! The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. And could they have used the dorkier voice acting to introduce one of the best games of all time? Probably not. But hell yeah, this game has one of the best soundtracks of all time in any video game. One of the best gameplays of all time in any video game. And sure as hell, an awesome story. Along with our heroine, Samus. Yes, I said heroine, because if you've played the original Metroid at the end of it and beaten it, Samus took off her mask to reveal that it was none other than a she. And what a twist, as no one expected it. But yeah, everybody, um, this game has a hell of a place in my heart in, among uh, older retro games I've played. And interestingly enough, story-wise, this is um, one of the last games of the Metroid series and, uh, uh, that's out to date, according to the story. In other words, this game takes place in the future. Uh, I'm not sure the exact year. But the only other two games to take place after this one is um, the one that just came out like a week ago, other uh, Metroid Other M or whatever it's called, and uh, Metroid Fusion is the last game of the series story-wise. But I never quite played those games. I never played any of the first-person Metroids, and I understand the story pretty well of Metroid, and that's basically uh, there's space pirates going around. Uh, Samus is basically the the protector of the galaxy. She is, and there's space parts that go around and plant creatures and whatnot in um, these planets. And uh, Samus's purpose is to save the galaxy, dispose of these creatures and these planets, save the Metroids, and bring peace back to the world or the galaxy and I forget I think there's a name for the galaxy but I don't remember it's been so long since I've played I'm just excited to get back into this one I absolutely love this game I love all the upgrades you get I love the gameplay I love the bosses I love the music what's not to love and I was originally gonna do this game uh, before I did uh, Link to the Past then I decided to do that voting thing and everyone voted for me to do Link to the Past first. Well now, I'm excited to do this one and let's get it started because the Ceres station was under attack. And this is kind of like, I guess, a flashback, I'm not sure. But you start off the game at the Ceres station controlling Samus. And you start off with nothing, your basic, um, here we go, let's, let's get it started. Come on. All right, down the elevator you go. You got your basic 99 energy, and this is what I'm talking about when I say uh, these old Metroids was not first person like it is today. So you know you got your weapon on auto fire and whatnot, and control Samus. You can't really do anything right now. Uh, I can use my left and right triggers to aim up and down. That's a really cool feature. And let's just go. I'll show you the map and the upgrades as we go, and I'll show you everything, explain things, you know, just share some of my personal stories of this game with you, and um, what really intrigued me about this game and whatnot. And I don't think I can do a spin off the wall, let me try. Yeah, I can. This is a technique you're not supposed to learn until later in the game, but uh, I can do it right now. You can like jump in the circle off walls and bounce. 
That's a technique that later on they actually kind of show you how to do without text. But for now, oh boy, what's this? We don't need that to know that for now. This is just the introduction. Looks like there's a lot of dead people here on the floor. Something bad happened here. Alright, and you can actually run fast too. That's how you do it. Keep my finger on the B button here and I run like a freaking lion or cheetah or whatever. Alright. What's this? So here's our Metroid, but... What's going on? Well... Aha! Our dragon is holding the Metroid! So you just gotta keep shooting this thing. Uh, I don't think you can really fail on this boss. Unless you're uh, the worst player in the world. So just keep attacking him. Don't worry if you take hits, it's fine. Oh my god! Ow! I don't have much energy. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so I survived with 16 energy. Sweet. And now the emergency activation self-destruct sequence has been activated. Holy crap, they... I have 59 seconds to escape or the game is over. And boy, do they throw you right into this game. No joke, you gotta get the hell out of here immediately. And I think they did that in a couple other Metroids too, but this one is just definitely more epic that way. Let's go! Ah! Don't worry, I have 16 energy. I think uh, you can't lose energy by getting hit, so don't worry. You know, as bad as that battle looked, and I looked like I was gonna die. So we just got, uh, now 45 seconds to get out of here. Oh my god. Are we gonna make it? And here's the coolest thing about this game. Look, the board is starting to tilt. They utilized the freaking Mode 7 graphic type thing that they also did in Super Castlevania. I love it. But, nothing too complicated. We escape the facility in time as it explodes. And the Metroid has been captured by the goddamn dragon. So that is what happened. Back to present time. On the planet of Zebes. Or Zebs. Okay, now. Where are we? This place looks crazy, yo. So we can use this airplane thingy to refill our health. We got our little map here. This is all we've discovered. That is it. And where is my inventory here? It's here somewhere, no? Where is my inventory? I guess this is my inventory. There it is, sort of. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just know there was a button I'm not pressing, but whatever. Alright, so if we go right here, let's just explore. We got we got some time up in here. Alright, here's what I'm talking about with the bounce thing. There you go. You're not supposed to learn that trick until later on, so I'm not even supposed to be going up here. But I figure, what the hell, why not? I don't think there's anything up here anyway yet I can get. But, you know. This is, uh, just imagine... You know, everyone's probably yelling at me now, like, what are you doing? You're going the wrong way. Well, imagine they just started the game. You know what I mean? And I don't know where the hell I'm going. Then again, if I just started the game, I would have known about that trick. But it doesn't matter, because look, we go to this door, and it's green, and I can't open those doors yet. So there you go. I came all the way here for nothing. <laughs> all right. My controls are a little weird. I might have to change this. Um, for my next episode, because I'm not used to these buttons. But for now, I will deal. Alright. Now, where am I going here? Only way I can go, which is left. And wow, this place looks pretty deserted. Nothing really going on here, huh? Whoa, bugs. Alright, so I can, if you notice, I can... Oh, no, I can't break that either. Okay. Wow, that's how long I haven't played, I guess. I don't remember. Can't go down there. It's too small for me to squeeze in. So they're pretty 
They're limiting the ways I can go here. Alright, just keep heading down this path. Can't squeeze in there yet. What do we got? Alright, I can go in here. Maybe there's something special in here I can get. Nope, can't squeeze in there either. And keep all these places in mind because we will be coming back here. And again, these doors, the reason I can open the blue ones and not that one is you need a special weapon or missiles or whatever to open that one. So we'll get back to that. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, man. Ah! Oh, straight drop. Straight drop all the way down. What's going on here? It's so deserted and isolated. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But just keep heading with it. There will be excitement soon. I know it looks dead. There's no monsters. It's boring. No. Everybody relax. Whoa, what's this? Interesting. Does this look familiar? A little bit like uh, the start of the original Metroid. Yes, well, they kind of ripped it, made it a little bit of the same here. But, you know, that's that's the nature of things, as I explained. That's how it works in this game. And we got the Morphing Ball. And if you've played the original Metroid, you know that the Morphing Ball is our first true upgrade that allows you to turn into a ball. And immediately... Apparently, someone has found us. And it really makes you wonder, um, what would have happened if I never got the morphing ball in the first place? Would there just never be creatures, period? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we go here. Um, we can head down. We can't go through that door yet, so we'll head down. Morph. And let's head up in here. Alright. And immediately, we are given the missiles. And with the missiles, you can open those pink doors that you saw. Alright. Now, one thing I figure I'll mention too is, in no means do I plan on doing a 100% run on this. And the reason for that is because I don't remember where everything is. I'm not... You know, I love this game and all, but... I, in no means, memorize where everything is in this game. So... Oh boy. There you go, I just wasted all my missiles just to open that door. But don't worry, you get plenty of missiles in this game. So we'll be fine. And I thought there was something here. I guess not. Whatever. Oh no! And we got more missiles. Cool. Yeah, so I'm not going to do a 100% run of this game, mainly for the fact that I don't know where everything is. I will try to get as much as I remember. And maybe, if I decide, I will get... Uh, the rest of the stuff later on, but I haven't really decided that yet. So for now, we're just gonna do do it my way here. Play it. This is my playthrough. You guys will just sit back, enjoy the ride, and everything will be fine. All right. So everybody, just chill and relax. <laughs> All right. I thought there was a little secret here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's more up. I don't know. See, I'm already forgetting things. I know there was an energy tank I can get here later. There's all kinds of stuff hidden in walls and secrets everywhere and whatnot. But, whatever! Okay. We got a minute left of recording. Let's see how far I can get. Oh my god, there's... Oh my god, there's monsters. There is monsters already. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, oh boy. Look, I'm getting hit already. Oh, jeez. Welcome to Super Metroid, everybody. I know you were probably wondering when stuff was going to start picking up. Well, here you go. It's starting to pick up now, isn't it? Can't go here yet. Of course. Oh, my God. There's creatures everywhere. All right. Let's just head up. Whoa. I got some life back. And this part's really a pain in the neck because of all the stupid creatures everywhere. Don't need to kill them. It's not necessary. Just kill the ones in your way. And head on, baby. Alright. Keep on jumping, jumping, jumping with the midnight light. Just keep on jumping, jumping, jumping with the midnight sky. Alright, guys. We're all out of time for this episode because I cut it extremely close. I don't know why I did that. So we'll see you next time as we continue more Super Metroid. Bye.